Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Little Day Launcher. We are playing more Final Fantasy XIV. Last episode we, uh... I think we just started with, uh, with Eureka Hydatos. Or Hidatos, Hydatos, Hydrodos. <laughs> I don't fucking know anymore. Anyway. Uh, off camera, I leveled myself up some more. I tried to go and do reflex strats, however, somebody else was over there farming probably... Um, probably conceptual... Logos. <sighs> We're already max level, so I guess they were there, just there to farm money or something. I can find out. Anyway, um, each kill would have given him like 800k or something, which wouldn't have been bad. Like it would have been a f pretty fine um, way to grind. But you know, when there's when there's somebody else, it just it just gets a little bit um, annoying. Surprised that uh, I wasn't approached. Okay, uh, surprised that the person didn't talk to me and start complaining. Either way, <laughs> now we are here with the uh, the next monster on our kill list, which um, can drop a rare item, meaning that uh, well, there's a lot of people that are going to be interested in this. And also looks like I'm not going to get invited, so I am going to crack my fingers. <laughs> and just just pull in the beginning and turn my accents on after a little bit. Simple. <laughs> should get me, should get me, uh, get me enough, especially since I'm like, I'm only one level below this one, so. I can definitely carry my weight with this. Considering the fact that I have also, uh, like the martialist thing, so I have 40% extra damage, I think. All right, 40? Yep. Yeah. You know, some people just build different, you know? AKA, I just know how to kind of manipulate the system a little bit because I've spent too much time in this hellhole. I've got 50 out of my 350 Hadados crystals. Mind you, I have like fought a couple of them and not gotten uh, the item drops because I was not high enough level. So, like basically all the setos out of them, which are already three, would have been already thirty crystals, but I got zero from it. So, since I am too low level, another bit of, there would have been another fate uh, which I was too low, low level for, which would have given me another ten, just like the, the dragon one somewhere back there. I'm missing out on a lot of uh, a lot of rewards. I'm also gonna go and look up something else after um, after I'm done leveling up on this island, because there could be some useful information in there for me and for others. Anyway, first we're gonna go and deal with this. Uh, individual. It's just all of the bottom hits. Anyway, Sickle Strike is a tank buster. Petrifaction, you need to look away, otherwise you will be petrified. And then you will just get one shot. Because, uh, yeah, that's how it works. If anybody gets petrified, she's gonna like walk towards them, or somewhere close to them, and then use a pistol reaper to kill them in one shot. Another thing is, there's gonna be three adds around like basically circling around her, they're going to use petrifactions of their own. So you kind of like gotta keep an eye out of where they are. Why am I getting hit with a fireball? Anyway, it looks like everybody is failing uh, pretty horribly. I'm gonna put my thing on defensive. Cause everybody's dying and I'm tanking now. No, not anymore. But this should definitely give me the, the gold rank, I guess. If anything. There we go. Nope. Wow. It's still only a silver after all of that. Cool. That's usually how it goes in Eureka, though. Well, anyway. <laughs> that makes me a little... A little sad. That's not the best starter of the video. I mean, I've been here for the entire day, so whatever. 
I'll be back once I'm level 60. Or have run into one of the other fates that I haven't done yet. Not like that, I have actually done off camera, but you know. <laughs> they've also pre pulled so I couldn't get there in time to really show off anything. Anyway, BRB. Okay, I'm back. After... <laughs> Man. <laughs> After some time. Uh... <laughs> I mean, actually, it does it. It's, 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 actually, yeah, no, it was some time. Either way, um, I now have 99 out of those crystals, so I'm still missing another 250. Um, however, I'm now also high enough level that I can join everything and also get a uh, a gold medal. Uh, I can help grind and all that jazz. So, before we go and do any of that, uh, let's first go through the motions of the story. Your judgments are complete, Lin. Let's put our handiwork to, pro uh, to the proof, shall we? Yes. Yes, everything appears to be in order. Hopefully the remaining two sets of columns will prove no more difficult. With that, let us make for the western columns. It's just south and east of unverified research. Right. Silent as a mass. Silent as a mass. Okay, now before we go and do that, let me go and do this, get that, get my freaking thing on. And there we go. I needed to have my, uh, my beautiful little... Uh, thing <laughs> my map basically to tell me where i need to go just so that i don't spend too much time just waltzing around as long as everything goes to plan i may even be able to do baldi's in arsenal like tomorrow for me well the thing is if i wasn't <laughs> if i could just ignore two other people, uh, I could just do it tomorrow morning. <laughs> and I would have done it tomorrow morning. However, I uh, have been the smart boy that I am and decided to be like, hey, you two, you want to do BA? And they're like, yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> Let me guide you. But unfortunately, I've also restricted myself again, which is, I feel like I should stop doing. <laughs> Especially when it comes to my video, uh, video footage. Anyway. Oh my god, so it's close. I really saw it into it. I, I really saw it into its gullet. Oh, I cannot unsee it. Oh. Forgive me, I'm alright now. So it appears there are two spots of pooled ether in this area as well. Both are located in the northern reaches of the West Bank. Let us put up and find them. Okay. That's where we need to go is up, up, and away. We need to go up on top of this pillar. Man, am I happy that I'm finally level 60. Even with like doing all the challenge like even like the challenge rock in and of itself does not give that much. It's really not that great in all fairness. But oh well. I finally reached the point where I can join the big boys. <laughs> can join the gamers. Where I can hopefully, you know, actually get crystals at a more um at a more steady rate uh, steady rate, I would say. Even though chances are, like, if I get to do Baldesian Arsenal tomorrow, I will probably have done Baldesian Arsenal before the weapons, which is fine by me, in all fairness. Um, the Baldesian Arsenal thing, I cannot just choose when to do it, so I'll have to follow the, uh, the scheduling of the servers. Or the server, that I mean. I was in there before. I did nine runs. <laughs> To get my full gear and then I never entered again because that place terrifies the living crap out of me I also that like that and it's also kind of a hassle to deal with even more scheduling <laughs> scheduling is annoying I've already have enough of that from my uh, from just the savage rating that I do with my with my static For the regulator at the spot of pulled ether. It appears to have immediate effect. 
There we go. And now we get to go and walk on back. <laughs> At least you get a nice view from up here. In general, though, like, I really like Eureka. Uh, Eureka. Eureka. No, Eureka. Uh, Hydratos. I just kind of wish. Or Hydratos. Whatever, man. <laughs> I just really, really wish that the crystals, like, the amount of crystals you get per fate would be higher. Because there's less, like, overall fates on this island, and they also drop, well, a lot less crystals. Mind you, you don't need as many either. Um, like, you needed 500 in Pagos, you need 650 in Pyros. Um, so the amount is a lot less, but still. It can't, the thing is, it, it evens out with, like, how little you get from fates. Like, the biggest fates in, in, uh, in Pagos. And uh, Pyros gave you 50, like 40 or 50 crystals. So. Well, the biggest ones in these give you 10. <laughs> Grand total of 10. Kaio. There you are, then, and I see you managed to locate the other spot of pooled ether. I'll begin making my adjustments at once. As before, it may take a bit of time. And elemental level 57. Sorry for keeping you waiting. I've finished with my adjustments. Adju adjustments. Let us see if they did the trick. Good, no dramas here either. That leaves us with just the eastern columns. As the name suggests, they are located on the eastern bank of the river. Off we go then, and no more harrowing encounters. Off we go, hello. That is very good. Oh fuck, no! <gasps> no, 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 no. I want to join that. No, please. Stop, please! <laughs> Hold up. This is very important. Providence Watcher is very, very important. Because I cannot get those materials from any other source. Also, why am I doing that? Like, it's over here. It's better for me to just take these, right? Well, whatever. Go, 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 go. The dormitory. Alright, so once again, let us go and try to do LFG in vain. Can I get people to invite me for once? Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna thank them because, man, it's been a bit since I was uh, invited. Right. Uh, we've already seen this fight, so I will uh, go and just pause the recording over here and I'll be back once it's over. Alright, there we go. With that victory, I got myself three crystalline scales. I thought it was only two, actually, per, per victory. Because I think you just need five, right? Yeah, oh my god, you just have beaten twice. Good. Good, very good. Chances are pretty dang high at all. Just have a lot more scales than I have crystals. <laughs> just seem to remember that being a thing. Also, I managed to get this car. <laughs> which I think I already mentioned at some point. So Lin is now a certified driver. It's rather sneaking about. I've gotten somewhat used to it. Still, I'm a long way off tra a long way off strolling around this island as if it were a flower garden like you do. Trust me, I don't. But on to business. Again, we have two spots of pulled ether to account for. One is due, uh, due east of here, while the other appears to lie at the northern edge of the island uh, of the riverbank area. I'll head east if you don't if you wouldn't mind taking your search north. See you back here afterwards, Lin. Uh, where are we going? One moment, one moment. Okay. To the north, as they say. They being me. Even though I am a he. A he he. 
That's not a topic I want to talk about at any point in my life. <laughs> Where we are trying to go, by the way, is over here somewhere. Now we should have like 109. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We're still a ways off, but sort of surely I'll get there. Getting the crystals as well. It's a pain in the ass, but it's not as uh, restrictive as doing a Baldi's and Arsenal run. When it comes to, um, I'm just gonna like say this. Actually, no, no. I'm gonna explain it once we unlock all these notes. No, there we go. We'll go and do it like that because there's quite a lot of explaining that involves that place, and a lot of the explaining I can't really do <laughs> because uh, I don't know it that well. I sure as hell don't remember it as well. It's in any case more involved than I wished it was. Uh, let's see. Am I in the correct area? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm a little off. I need to go over here. Just keep going along the wall. It's near the... These are uh, Thor enemies. There we go. And we get the safe message. And then we need to get back down there. I'll meet you guys back down there. Alright. Hello, Krayu. The regulator is in, is in place. Excellent. As before, I'll need to carry out some adjustments. Adju adjust adjustments. Why is it so difficult for me to say? Pray bear with me for a while. And level 60. Apologies for making you wait repeatedly. I'm pleased to say I've completed my judgment. Adjust, a judge. I keep wanting to say a judgment, but it's adjustments. And with even greater care than usual. I don't even need to try to know that this will work. See, what did I tell you? With all three sets of columns thus repaired, the ether bridge should be operational again. At long last, we may enter the tower. I have taken the liberty of granting you permission to use the bridge, so we may make the crossing at any time. Come, let's make our way thither. Let's have to go back down there. Yep. Yay. I keep forgetting this is a thing that I can actually look at. You can hide your logos actions too if you need. All of these options. How majestic. I think this instance is closed. This is it, Lin. The path to the tower lies wide open. Within we are like to encounter both Ajika and Eureka's avatar. They won't allow us to simply walk in and restore the ward. Yet that is precisely what we must do. After all of our toils to reach this point, we cannot stop now. Let us go. Let's get all the entrances. Eureka. 
Well, I don't think any of us expected it to be right by the entrance. I know for a fact that it wasn't here before. One can only assume it was moved from its hiding place. At any rate, this saves us the trouble of a search, so I shan't complain. Now, as much as I would like to restore the ward at once, that restraint will interfere with its effects. It's a safety measure that prevents Eureka from escaping, but by the same token it prevents us from acting against it. I'll wager that Ajika is searching for a way to deactivate the restraint and release Eureka, which means that we must find it first. Grandfather's office adjoins, uh, adjoins this hall. If there is any information to be had, I dare say it will be there. It will be a Ladeir. <laughs> uh, go classic Ladeir joke. Um... We're just going to Eureka Hidden Tales. Nope, okay. I, won't, I will not be able to see it. Let's see. On the origins of Eureka. This is our best effort to earn to find any literature allowing us to trace Eureka's creation back to a definitive legend. Our brief questioning of its avatar, however, did yield some intriguing details, namely that Eureka, who claims to cast down the wicked, was imprisoned by one who bears the lights, a champion of Hydaelyn. How these words may be interpreted is a subject for debates, but taken at face value, they are suggestive, that, uh, suggestive of Asian involvement. Regardless of the truth, we must do our utmost to safeguard the knowledge of the icon. On the weapons of Kyrie. It is believed that a weapon forged by Eureka takes control of its wielder by usurping his ether. Eventually, naught can be said to remain of the host. Having thus acquired the means to move, the weapon then begins to act autonomously, setting forth to fulfill its purpose. The wish which the wish which <laughs> impelled its creation. To date, we have discovered five such arms and sealed them away, but there is no telling how many more exist. For now, we can but continue our investigation. Numerous stones are scattered haphazardly upon the table. None of them appear to be related to Eureka. Apart from the mess, it's pretty much as it was. I can almost see Grandfather sitting at his desk. Hmm, if Ajika had been here, he's long gone. What could that boy possibly be up to? Oh, never mind him for now. Come in, help me look for information on the restraints. You mean the books? Gallo Cemento. Oh, whoopsie. He removed the pile of tomes to discover a single sheet of parchments. Gallo of Baldesian Smilon. I, Gallo of Baldesian, hereby commit these words to parchment in the event that the unthinkable should come to pass. You who are reading this will by now be aware of the existence of the icon Eureka and its ability to forge dangerous weapons. What you may not know, however, is that said ability is not limited to simply uh, to uh, simply implements of war. It's not limited to simply implements. That is a weird way to say it. Nay, Eureka is capable of creating any and all things. And the implication of this? Imagine, if you will, that he who is Eureka's master, com master commands it to create a new mother crystal. The icon would attempt to do so, we believe, even if it is meant draining the land of all its ether. Such a reforging of the world would entail destruction of a scale to rival any calamity. This is the true danger of Eureka. For long years we have kept the being's location a closely guarded secret. But in spite of our best efforts, it was eventually discovered by the Asians. Lest Eureka be used to a calamitous end, my comrades and I resorted to drastic measures. Having given the orders, the or having, having given the order to evacuate, we invoked a powerful magic to drown the entire isle within the live stream. Thence we combined our strength to defeat the Asian, known as Emma Roloff, consigning her essence to be scattered within that raging torrent of ether, never again to reform. And now we await our own end. Even as I write, the Isle of Val drifts into the live stream. Ere long, it will become as one with the flow, as will all that remains within. However, that these words have survived means that, unlikely though it is, the Isle has somehow re-emerged in a corporeal realm. It means that Eureka remains a grave threat. You who have found my message, to you I make the most urgent entreaties. Seek out the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, and alert them of these events. See that Eureka is sealed away and guarded from those who would use its power for ill. The fate of the very star depends on it. Found something, did you? Excellent, so did I. A wealth of information inside an unassuming tome. Grandfather describes the wards the founders raised, the contrivances they employed to keep Eureka hidden, and, most pertinently, instructions on deactivating the restraints. He also writes in detail about Eureka's avatar. Contrary to what we first assumed, the entity appears to be more akin to an instrument, this Eureka's means of manipulating ether, without which the primal cannot forge its weapons. So long as Eureka ex itself exists, the instrument can be recreated over and over again, 
but it will disappear if we sever the etheric connection between them. This we can accomplish by restoring the ward and sealing Eureka away. While it falls short of outright eliminating the primal, it prevents an effective way to keep it in check. I wonder perhaps if Jika is... Well, I will come to light in due course. That is all from me. Let's hear what you have learned. I see, yes, I remember. On that fateful day, Grandfather gave the order for immediate evacuation. But when I attempted to teleport away, my, the magic failed owing to an unnatural surge in the life stream. So I turned my steps towards Port Sergei to find a boat. I never got there, of course. I was followed up by the live stream. Judging by the state of the headquarters, the others too were pulled into that raging torrent. There was no divine intercession for them. I had braced for this. From the beginning, I had resigned myself to being the sole survivor. But to not be confronted with the truth. Confound it all! Ah! Right, there will be time for tears later. We have to. We have work to do, and Grandfather would expect us to do it. Come then, let us deactivate the restraint. Yes, Lynn, according to Grandfather's notes, this little thing is the crux of the restraint. Apparently it shares a history with Eureka, but such details aren't relevant at the moment. What matters is it allows us to release the restraint. Here I go. That did the trick. Let us return to the hall. Of course I would choose this moment to appear. Our enemy standeth before us, bearing light most vile. Strike her down, my champion. I was waiting for you to lift the restraints, as I knew you would. Chica, please come to your senses. Come to my senses, my dear Kryle. I never took leave of them. Come, we settle this now. The task that Master Gallivant entrusted to us. Adventure, the blessing of light shields you from the primal's influence. Take the sword and strike down the avatar. Betray me, wicked mortal. Sam Tetsuken. Nice. That's a that's a really cool animation of the map. Wicked, you say? Yours is the existence that threatens the world, primal. My conscience is quite clear. Before making wise retorts to the primal, perhaps you would care to explain, well, everything. What is there to explain? I acquired the weapon needed to defeat the Eureka's avatar and set up an ambush. Isn't it obvious? I thought you would be able to deduce my plan of winning the enemy's confidence, <gasps> but it seems I overestimated you. Ah. 
Ah, that's our Ajika. All sort of dance well. Aha, aren't we celebrating a little early? Yes, our Ajika, indeed. My apologies. I'll restore the ward at once. No, Kryal. This... That is not what we need to do. I'm against it. If it's possible to say Eureka, that is what we must do. I'm against sealing it. There we go. Sorry. In the absence of an avatar, its master might command it to forge more weapons than the ether it harbors. This is true. And without the means to replenish its ether, it will eventually consume itself. This will not work, my friends. Surely you see the flaw in this method. What? That master and icon are one and the same? That our ether would be Eureka's ether? No, I we know this. But we've got a responsibility. As those who unearthed the being, if my life can set things to right, gladly would I render it, uh, render, it, render it up. Yet, therein lies the problem. Eureka harbors tremendous ether, far more than the four of us combined. It would all perish long before we succeed. Well, my friends, seems you have no choice at all. Let me guess, you had another vision? A very timely, and now you know what I seek to do. Now wait here, what exactly are you planning to do? Hmm, <laughs> how many times must you make me state the obvious? Master Galaf conceived of a way to destroy Eureka, and I mean to carry it out. Out of the question, if the four founders together couldn't do this, what makes you think you can alone? Eureka expended vast amounts of ether to bring the Isle of Val out of the live stream. Even accounting for what it has since recovered, my ether alone should more than suffice. If that's the case, then I should be the one to do it. It's my solemn uh, responsibility as a sole survivor of the destruction. Protected by your blessing as you are, Eureka will not recognize you as its master. Only I can do this. Having read Master Gallop's memo, you should know the danger the Primal poses. We cannot risk it falling into Asian hands again. Destroying it now is the ideal solution. There's nothing ideal about the solution that requires you to sacrifice yourself. Besides... I didn't think a self-centered fellow like you would aspire to martyrdom. Such pure old provocation ill becomes you, Kryle, and no matter what you say, you cannot deny the truth. Sealing Eureka away would only be a temporary measure. Now you must destroy it, here and now. If Master Galaf believed it possible, he himself would have done the deed. And it is possible now. I have already made my peace. Let me do what must be done. What you seek to do, there's no undoing. It's suicide, plain and simple. And as your comrade, I cannot allow it. With Emerald of Vanquish, there's no immediate danger. While Eureka is contained, we can search for other ways to deal with it. Your assertions are all too easily refuted, but this plain you have already made up your mind on the matter. The best thing to do here is to, de to, defer, to defer to a third party. Adventure! Without you, we couldn't have possibly gotten this far. You have as much say as any of us on how we should proceed. Very well. I trust Lynn's judgment. Whatever be her decision, I will accept it. There you have it. To defeat Eureka here and now, or to restore the ward and delay the inevitable. Make your choice, adventurer. The sword will unfold, unfold differently depending on whose approach you choose to support. Once you begin one, one, one path, the other will no longer be available to you. Please note, however, that your choice will not affect the rewards and challenges to come. 
Um, so this is an interesting little situation because I chose um, I chose to go along with a Jika last time. So I think it's an idea to go along with Kral. Merely sealing Eureka away does not end it, but we shouldn't rush our decision as Ejika seems to believe he must. Once the war is operational again, we'll have ample time to consider the best course of action. Surely you agree with me. Yes. Uh, yes. I'll go along with Kral. Yes. Because I've already seen the other path. Thank you, Rin. I knew we would be on the same page. So, Jika, that is two against one in, favoring, in favor of restoring the ward. <laughs> Lost your nerve, have you? I would try to impress upon you the dangers, the danger of this course, but I would only be wasting my breath. If it's to be the ward, then so be it. I will cooperate with you. Be thankful. I'm thankful, truly I am. If you were to lend us your keen mind, I'm confident we will find a true solution. Without further ado, then I will reactivate the be the warrior, the, the warrior, <laughs> the ward. I will reactivate the warrior. Yes, good choice. Warrior is the best class, or job in this case. Cutscene, or are we just moving on to get okay. this done? Eureka lies sealed again. I would sooner see destroyed, as you know, but it's at least a step in the right direction. What next? We have much more to discuss. Shall we return to camp for the time being? Yes, we will go on ahead. See you in on then. It's nice to see them just getting along. Just really nice. Right. Let me go and do this. We can just uh, return to the starting point of the Eureka. Right. The troubles of this isle are our responsibility. Trials and mines. We shouldn't depend on an outsider such as you to, involve, to solve them. Yet I would be lying if I said that we weren't glad for your assistance. For all of your labors on our behalf, I give you my thanks. Allow me to thank you as well. Without you to blaze a trail for us, we couldn't have possibly arrived at a solution. My friends, I am heartened to see you hail and ho. By this, may I assume that our business is indeed concluded here? We've read the reports. Tell us what happened after. Thus did we succeed in restoring the ward and sealing away Eureka within the tower. Oh my, it appears the expedition proved to be rather more powerless than we first reckoned. But you were evidently the best people for the task. So take care of your own business. Good for you. But what I really want to know is whether the house stands to gain. Oh, I was under the impression that you've already ha uh, gained quite consider considerably through Geralt's weapons and contrivances. <laughs> Not to say that our own company isn't interested in profits. Might we discuss the matter of our access to Eureka? Uh, begging your pardons, the Isle of Val. This indeed being the Isle of Val, we assert claim over it in the name of the students of Baldessian. Let us negotiate a deal. A uh, deal? We will lease to you a tract of land upon which you may establish a port and carry out your activities. In return, we ask that your two concerns provide support to the scholars we will summon here. Though we have succeeded in sealing away Eureka, much remains to be done. For one, we intend to find a way to destroy the primal outright. Given a distance from the Charlian motherland, however, it's a challenge to procure provisions. Thus, we would turn to you in order to continue, to continue our work. You've got yourself a deal. There's still profit to be milked out of this isle. And the more residents, the merrier. 
You will need to drop, on, uh, drop the details of the agreement, of course, but I see no reason why we would reject your proposal. From here on, I shall speak for the students. You and Cry will be leaving the aisle. What are you saying, Ajika? I'm saying that I will tend to the affairs in Val henceforth. A blessing. Uh, blessed with your powers as you are, you are needed elsewhere. Chica has matters well in hand, as he says. We have our duties as Scions, so let us be on our way. Of course, dealing with the primal threat is part of our stated mission, and you will continue searching for a permanent way to defeat Eureka. Take good care of this place, alright? That goes without saying. <laughs> Rowena is so... I hate Rowena so much. <laughs> She's such a... Well... You know, she's a businesswoman. That's all I can say, really. Oh, more cutie. Eureka complete. But also not really. <laughs> right. Making the most of high datos. Hello, Mr. Scala. This is precisely the adventure I wish to see. There is a matter I would discuss with you. In the course of his investigations, Master Eureka made an unsettling discovery. When the founders unearthed Eureka, it had by then, bef uh, by then forged a fearsome arsenal of weapons. The Founders made it their mission to locate these arms, which they sealed away in the headquarters' upper level. I placed up the Baldesian arsenal. For years, the weapons lay dormant, but the recent disturbances on the isle may have caused them to awaken, to become sentient. If left unchecked, this uh, it is only a matter of time before they take hapless wielders as their vessels, thereby giving rise to new primals. In order to prevent such an outcome, we mean to dispatch a party to destroy the weapons. Now, according to Master Jika's report, an arcane war, prevent a war to prevents access to the Baldesian arsenal. However, by exploiting an anomaly in the live stream, which occurs under certain weather conditions, it is possible to teleport inside. And here's where you come in. We need you to undertake forays to destroy uh, Eureka's weapons. Having accomplished all that you have on the uh, on the aisle, we believe you best suited for this mission. Warning: the Belizean Arsenal is an unimaginably punish uh, punishing duty. Even the entry conditions alone will not be easily fulfilled. And emerging triumphants will require teamwork, tenacity, time, knowledge, courage, strength. And not the least of all, luck. You, you acknowledge, yes, I do. Baldesian Arsenal is now accessible. You now have access to the Baldesian Arsenal. Details such as entry conditions and the unique challenges within can be had by speaking with the expedition scholar. It is recommended that you first gain a full understanding of what awaits before venturing forth. All right, with this knowledge uh, at our disposal, I am going to go and end up the episode over here. And, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, Blood Airlines, where I played Final Fantasy XIV. And next episode, we're going to go into the Baldesian Arsenal. I will probably not be able to um, to uh, commentate over it. I actually I know that I won't be able to. <laughs> say it like that. Um, I will not be able to comment over it, considering the fact that I'm going to have to pay attention myself. I'm going to have to follow a, lo a raid leader uh, through it myself. Um, in terms of in-game audio, I'm also going to just um, do that in, in post-editing, so you won't really hear in-game audio either. Um, but I will show you the entirety of the Baldesian Arsenal raid, right? in any case. And there's going to be more story afterwards, and then we're going to go and uh, get all the Logos actions that we're still missing after I'm done getting uh, all the crystals I need for my weapon, and then we can go and check out the armor, and then we will truly be done with Eureka. Anyway, goodbye.